This interactive simulation models the flow of water through a Venturi tube. The simulation is located in the Learn Chemie site at the link given here. And the simulation is based on a desktop module that is located at this link. So what the simulation looks like is we have water flowing through a pipe and then there's a constriction. This is the Venturi part of the tube, if you like. This is where, because of the constriction, there's a pressure drop. So if you look at these manometers, where the water goes up to a height, in this case, 120 millimeters of water, the pressure drops at the narrow point, then rises again at the exit. And this pressure drop can be used to determine what is the volumetric flow rate through the tube. And so we'll look at the simulation to see how it works. So in the simulation, we can change the volumetric flow rate. Lower volumetric flow rate, there's less pressure drop. And the Bernoulli equation is then used to calculate the flow rate from this pressure drop. And essentially, we're changing the flow rate by opening and closing a valve that's upstream from the Venturi meter. And so let's look at a high. So I can show the flow rate by clicking here. And you can see as I decrease it, the value of the flow rate decreases. If I also include fluid friction in, in the system, then the pressure at the exit here is lower than the inlet because of friction, and this is without the friction. So the simulation has details of the equations that are used and some more information about directions on, on how to use it. And the idea is to get a better understanding of how a Venturi meter works.